Supporters tell me expanding the time frame would give terminally ill patients more control and peace of mind. Opponents say it would contribute to mistakes. The controversial issue of physician-assisted suicide was in the national spotlight last year when 29-year-old Brittany Menard, dying of brain cancer, moved to Oregon for the death with dignity law. She ended her life on November 1st. Speak up for yourself. Advocate. Under Oregon's current law, patients like Menard must be diagnosed with a terminal illness and expected to die within six months before being able to request a lethal prescription. I found out Oregon House Bill 3337 would increase that time to one year. I met with Representative Mitch Greenlick, who introduced the bill. He tells me extending the time frame is important for some terminally ill patients. For ALS, for example, by the time you get within six months of your pending death, you may not have the manual dexterity or you may not be able to swallow the medicine. I also met with Liberty Pike with Oregon Right to Life. One of the many problems with this bill is that they are vastly increasing the population of vulnerable people who will be given a suggestion that they should end their lives prematurely. So I took that argument to Representative Greenlick. Do you think this will increase deaths through death with dignity? Maybe by a small number it will, but what it will do is make many people's deaths seem more serene and more calm because they'll be able to know they have an option. Opponents also argue that doctors don't have a crystal ball for predicting life expectancy. Supporters argue the science is inexact, whether it's at six months or a year. As the debate continues, House Bill 3337 is expected to be heard in the Oregon House Committee on Health Care. In Salem, Amy Frazier, Coin 6 News.